Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we're going to be reviewing the Solar AB2 for BOP, the entry level bass from Solar Guitars. Let's check it out. This is the Solar Guitars AB2 for BOP, or Black Open Pour. This is the entry-level bass from Solar Guitars, and these just came out. Solar Guitars is a metal-oriented guitar and bass company run by Ola England. On the website, they say that this bass is designed for a modern metal bass player with high-quality expectations at an affordable price. And we're going to see if that's true here. Even though I'm not a metal player, uh, I already unboxed this and we did that on camera and I was very impressed with the quality of this bass. So we're going to run this thing through its paces and see if that website statement holds true. First, let's go over the specs of this bass. Let's start with the body. The body is made of Sung Kai, which appears to be a swamp ash type of wood, and it looks very similar from the grain here. And that is finished in a matte, open pour, black finish, which is really metal. The pickups that they're using in this base are in-house solar Tesla humbucking soap bar pickups. And those pickups are mated to a two-band preamp, and you have a master volume, a master blend, master treble, and master bass controls. The bridge is very interesting. As I noticed, it's the exact same bridge used in the FGN Dark Evolution and Mighty Power models. That's right, my FGN Double P, as well as this FGN Dark Evolution Mighty Jazz behind me, are using the exact same bridge here. And it's a very high quality bridge, so I commend Solar Guitars for using high quality parts. Now I did have a bit of a wiring issue out of the box with these pickups. The humbuckers themselves are wired in series out of the box, and I think there is a wiring issue there because with the series configuration, they were really noisy. However, these are really nice pickups and they do give you access to both grounds and both leads, so you can wire these in parallel as well. And I did that and the noise went away. So I'm thinking that there was a bit of a mix-up between one of the grounds and one of the leads. Uh, not a big deal and I was able to fix it in about five minutes by just wiring the uh, humbuckers in parallel and it wasn't much of a problem and they still sound great. Now I could investigate this further, but I have a bit of a surprise at the end of the video so be sure to watch all of it. So unfortunately, I didn't capture any of the audio from my original unboxing, but I was gonna shoot another video right after using this bass, and here's the audio that I recorded. You hear a very loud hum. And that noise was pretty consistent. But again, I investigated further and I ended up wiring the humbuckers in parallel as opposed to series, and these things are dead quiet now and they sound great. The neck is a five-piece maple and jatoba neck with a 24 fret, 34 inch scale ebony fretboard. And it features these nice little tiny dot inlays and the solar logo right around the 12th fret. The headstock is reverse headstock and it has these really cool solar tuners that have a really cool tuning head. Uh, here's a picture of them. These tuners are really cool and I like that unique touch at something at this price point. The neck is also secured via six bolts versus the typical four. So this neck is in there and it's very secure. Now I know you guys are wondering, how does this thing sound? Let's check it out. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. <laughs> fun. I really like the neck on this bass. It is very, very fast, very smooth, and very easy to navigate. Thank you. 
I think this thing is fun. <laughs> this thing is well balanced in the lap. Even with the long headstock, I don't feel like it's going to really be a neck diver with the lightweight tuners especially. And overall, this base is actually really comfortable. I appreciate these functional and also great looking cutaways right here. Gives you a lot of really great upper fretboard access. So let's check out these pickups individually as well as explore this preamp. Let's start out with the neck pickup. Here is the neck pickup with the preamp centered. Too bad, not too bad. Now let's go ahead and cut the preamp entirely. Man, even with both the bass and treble cut, you still have a lot of really nice clarity and definition from this neck pickup. Anyways, let's go ahead and bring the treble control up to center. So here is just the neck pickup with the treble control centered and the bass cut. Now, let's boost that treble control up to 50%. So that's halfway between 100% and the center notch. Not bad, not too bad. That doesn't sound too harsh, at least for my amp. You know what? Let's go ahead and turn that up to 100% and see what that sounds like.
Not bad. Not bad at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the treble entirely and let's bring the bass control up to center. Yeah, not too bad. It was a little boomy. Let's go ahead and bring just the bass control up to 50% now. So that's halfway between the center notch and 100%. This is fun to just like mess around on. Man, this neck is like super fast and just enjoyable. This is a joy to play. So yeah, that bass control, it's a bit boomy there. It's not overwhelming by any means, but it really kind of drowns out the rest of the character of the bass a bit. Now, let's go ahead and keep the bass control at 50% and bring the treble control up to center. Yeah, that bass control is still overwhelming, Let's go ahead and bring the treble up to 100%. Let's go ahead and center everything now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, so far, I think the pickups are solid, but I don't think they're spectacular. And I think the preamp is just okay. I think that when the preamp is cut entirely, it does a great job of not really neutering the instrument, where a lot of preamps where you cut the frequencies and it just kind of turns a bass into a little chihuahua. Um, this preamp doesn't do that, however, so I appreciate that. However, with things boosted, uh, it doesn't really sound, I guess, spectacular, at least on the neck pickup. Now let's go ahead and check out the bridge pickup. So here is the bridge pickup with the EQ centered. <laughs> Not bad. Again, a lot of clarity and definition there, and I appreciate that out of these pickups. Now, let's go ahead and cut everything and see what that sounds like. <laughs> This thing's good. So again, even with the frequencies cut, both bass and treble, it doesn't really neuter the instrument, and I appreciate that. Now, let's boost the bass control. Here's the bass control centered and the treble cut. <laughs> Too bad. 
Now let's go ahead and boost the bass up to about 50%. And let's go ahead and cut the bass control and check out the treble control real quick as well. Here is the treble centered. <laughs> and here is just the treble control boosted to about 50%. And let's bring both controls up to center one more time, and then let's check out both pickups together. So here's just the bridge pickup with the EQ centered. <laughs> Now, let's bring the neck pickup back into the mix and have both pickups together. <laughs> oh man. Now let's cut the EQ with both pickups. <laughs> And now let's center the bass control. <laughs> Too bad. Now let's boost the bass to 50%. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. Now let's go ahead and cut that and bring these treble up to center. <laughs> Now here's the treble control boosted to about 50%.
I think the treble control sounds best with both pickups engaged. Now let's bring the bass control up to center with the treble boosted to about 50%. sounds really good. I'm going to go ahead and bring the treble back to center and let's slap this thing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is a fun bass. It sounds really nice out of the box. Now I know the pickup issue I had is probably some small QC issue, and I did email them about it, and they were very receptive to my email, very appreciative of the feedback, and are looking into it. So I really thank Solar Guitars for such a great response. Not all companies out there will respond like that, so it's good on them for getting ahead of things like this and making sure that they deliver a top-notch product. So I appreciate that. And finally, let's see what this thing sounds like with some drums behind it. So here are my final thoughts on the Solar Guitars AB2 4 BOP. AB2.4-4, I don't know. AB2 4 BOP. This bass. I like it. I like it a lot. I think that for a first attempt at a bass, Solar hit it out of the park. I think their attention to detail here, both with the, the neck, the inlays, the fretwork, the body, just the overall aesthetic, the electronics, the components with the bridge and the tuners, as well as the design with the reverse headstock. I just think they hit it out of the park here. Now, I don't think the preamp is necessarily the greatest preamp out there, and I think the pickups are okay. I don't think they're stellar, but I don't think they're terrible by any means. Um, I just think that they are probably the most average bits of this instrument, whereas everything else is very much above average. And at $6.99, that is an incredible value here. And I am very impressed with Solar Guitars for offering all this at $6.99. So what am I going to rate the Solar Guitars AB2 for BOP? Yeah! I'm going to go ahead and rate this bass. Four claws out of five. I think that everything about this instrument is absolutely exceptional except for the electronics, which I don't think are bad by any means, but I think that they're the most average part of this instrument. Everything else, the fretwork, the overall attention to detail on the neck, the cool look of the body and those cutaways, the high quality bridge, 
high quality tuners. Everything about this screams quality. So they're doing really good stuff here. And I'm hoping to see much more cool stuff from Solar Guitars in the future. Now I did mention I had that pickup issue where there is probably a little bit of a wiring mishap. Um, and I ended up wiring these pickups in parallel, the individual humbuckers in parallel, not the pickups together. Um, they're already in parallel. And that was to resolve a noise issue that I had. Now, I would look into this further, except we're going to be doing something to this base. What happens if you create a being that's half fish, half man, and half base? That's right, we're going to be tossing in a set of Fishman Fluence pickups, as well as the included preamp, into this base. So we're going to be gutting out the original Solar Guts and putting in some Fishmans. Now, I've never actually played anything with Fishman Fluence pickups before, and I'm very excited. Honestly, I really didn't want to drop $1,300 or $1,400 on one of those Schecters just to get a chance at playing one of these. And those quartz with them are also pretty pricey as well, so... Solar plus this is going to equal awesome. Now, I know that this is an entry-level base from Solar, and I'm hoping that they're going to have some higher market offerings as well with more premium electronics in the future. So crossing my fingers for that. But anyways, I am very excited to install these in the solar. So stay tuned for that video to see the finished result of those mods. Well, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the solar AB2 for BOP. AP2? Yeah. The solar base. It's nice. And as always, until we groove again.